afternoon everyone and right now we have six diodes in front of us and we're gonna look at the different diode voltage drops across these diodes with our meter now this one over here that's a germanium diode that's a 1 in 34 a here's a small signal diode 1 in 41 48 Here's a Zener diode of 5.6 volt. Zener. Here's another Zener diode, a 24 volt Zener. Here's a rectifying diode. That's a 1N4007. And here's a fast recovery diode, part number FR304. Here's strawberry plant. Strawberry plant's going to help us test these diodes. <laughs> Strawberry plant wants to help us out here. All right. <laughs> okay. What'd you say, strawberry plant? We got to take those diodes off of that static foam there? Why we got to do that? Oh. Okay, strawberry plant. Strawberry plant says that this static foam is conductive. So we'll get erroneous readings if we put our meter across the, the cathode nanode uh, while those diodes are down there in that static foam. So we need to take those diodes off of that static foam before we do our, our diode tests. Okay, thanks. Strawberry plant, I didn't realize that. Okay. Alright. Alright, strawberry. Let's check out these diodes. Get my far away glasses on. I'm too close. Everything's fuzzy with my close up glasses. Okay, we're going to look at this one right here. This is the 1N34A germanium diode. See if I can get on there. There we go. I'm upside down and turned around backwards, but that looks like 0.324. That's a very tiny diode drop right there. Let's see what we get when we reverse the leads. We'll put the black lead on the anode and the red lead on the cathode. We have an open circuit right there. Okay. Now, we're going to come over here and look at the 1M4148 small signal diode. We have a diode drop of 0.615. Now that's your standard diode drop. They always average out to about that right there. Reverse the leads. And I have no diode drop right there. Okay. Now here's a Zener diode. You will see that most Zener diodes have a diode drop of 0.7 or greater. That's how you can tell they're Zeners. When... Uh, when you see a diode drop of 0.7 or greater, that's a Zener diode. They usually fall around 0 0.7, 10, thereabouts, 0.734. This one here is the 1M4734. That's a 5.6 volt Zener diode. I'm going to put the black lead on the cathode and the red lead on the anode. Look at that. 0.719. Now, if I see something like that, I'm going to automatically think that's a Zener diode. Let me reverse the leads. Okay, no diode drop when I reverse the leads. I put the black lead on the anode and the red lead on the cathode. Now, here's another Zener diode right next door to it. We're going to take a look at that one. This is the 1M4749. It's a 24 volt Zener diode. 
and it also should read above 0.7. There we go. We got a diode voltage drop of 0 0.712. I'm going to reverse the leads. And it's open. Okay, that's good. Now here is a rectifying diode. This is the 1M4007, 1M4007. You see these all over the place. And they're used in many different applications. Uh, from rectifying AC to DC. Uh, you'll also see these across the coil of a relay to uh, uh, in the uh, freewheeling spike suppression of the high voltage spike when you turn off a relay you'll see them across the coil of the relay uh, so let's check that out look at that there's a diode drop of 0.582 if I'm reading that correctly upside down okay we'll reverse the leads that is open when I reverse the leads. That's good. This diode right here, this last one, this is a fast recovery diode. Its part number is FR304. You'll see these in switching power supplies mostly uh, uh, on the output of a switcher. You'll have an inductor. You'll have the, this diode right here going to bus ground and uh, let's see what it diode drop is okay point four two six now I've seen fast recovery diodes whose uh, diode voltage drop is extremely low I've seen them uh, down to point one two five Point uh, zero eight five, and you'd think to yourself, "Shoot, fire! That diode looks like it's shorted." But then, when you reverse the leads, let's reverse the leads on that. I'll put the black lead on the anode and the red lead on the cathode, and it's it's not it's not shorted. I don't have a diode drop in that direction, but I do have a diode drop when I forward bios, bias that uh, diode with my meter, 0.426. So, all of these diodes have a purpose in their life in that circuit. If you think a diode is bad, take it out of the circuit, put the black lead on the cathode, the red lead on the anode and see if you have a good diode drop then reverse the leads and you will not have a diode drop normally now there are Zener diodes that are temperature compensated and when you reverse the leads uh, when you reverse your meter leads on that diode, you put the black lead on the anode and your red lead on the cathode. The temperature compensated diodes will have a, 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 a diode drop around 1.2, 1.3, thereabouts. And it'll fool you into thinking that that diode is leaky. But, uh, but it's not. You pull up that data sheet on that Zener diode with temperature compensation and uh, and it'll tell you that it's temperature compensated and, and then you can say to yourself well that's probably good <laughs> now none of these right here are temperature compensated uh, diodes so we had no reverse leakage in the next video I'll tell you how to test these Zener diodes. I'll show you how to test these Zener diodes. Alright everyone, thank you very much for watching.
Strawberry here says thank you. <laughs> okay, that was some fun learning on those diodes, wasn't it? Remember, germanium has a low diode drop. The Zeners, they have a diode drop of 0.7 or more. The small signal and the uh, rectifying and even the fast recovery here on uh, that we have right here, they had your standard uh, diode voltage drops on this meter right here. All right, it's getting late. We got to go cook some dinner <laughs> before the sun goes down and then comes back up, and we got to go back to work. All right, everyone. I hope you all have a good day. Thank you for stopping over. We'll see you next time.